In 1876, an American inventor by the name of Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. The invention revolutionised the daily lives of ordinary people back then and still today. To this day, the telephone has been a necessity to most people and households. Technology keeps changing the way of communication, including the cordless phone, mobile, emails, radios and so on. The telephone has also sparked a bit of controversy, especially the mobile phone for youth. Being so attached to an object that you can't live without it isn't such a good thing. I spoke to my classmates about it. How are we doing? Do you have a phone? Yeah, I do. What type of phone is it? Nokia A63. Oh, what type of phone do you have? $50 shitbox, bro. Nokia. That's uh, the one. Mini, do you have a mobile phone? Sure do. Where is it? It's in my bag, right here. What is that? It's a website. It's a mobile phone? Yes, it is. How much time is it? Samsung. It's a... Uh, iPhone. Old style. Ah, oh, hold on. She's texting me. It's a Nokia N95. Um, it's this type of Nokia. I don't even know what model it is. That's how old it is. Yeah, that's how old it is. I've had it for more than 10 years now. And yeah, what was the question? What type of phone do you have, Damien? I don't have a phone. N95. Old, oldie but a goodie. This is KRS. What do you use your phone for most? So, uh, just to call people. Just get in contact. No. Call up some <laughs> No, see what mates are doing. <laughs> I was going to say texting, but I actually don't. I use it to surf the internet and go on Twitter and Facebook the most. Like, pretty much I spend... Uh, if I'm on my phone, nine times out of ten, I'm looking at Twitter and Facebook. Facebook, John. Well, more Twitter, actually, to be completely honest. I'm getting into Twitter than Facebook. Um, texting. My mum. Games. No, no. James pretty sure you could die if I touch for that. What do you use your Samsung for most? Receiving phone calls. Uh, texts, web browsing, uh, email, internet tethering to my laptop. Yeah. A lot of things. I'm all over it. I'm dependent. I'm psychologically dependent on this thing. Um, just to get in co contact with uh, friends, girls, family, appointments, workers, meetings. If I'm going to meet up with someone, I'll give them a call, text them. If I've got credit. If not, 1-800-MUM-DAD. 1-800-REVERSE. It's all good. You stupid, but he tried to play me out and KRS1 knew it. You trying to be rude? Uh, anyway, uh, no, I don't think I could. Straight up, I need this. I need this baby. Could you have a loop with your phone? Yeah, I reckon. This is modern day technology. I can't live without it. it costs money, and I like it. <laughs> to be honest, I actually probably could. Um, because there, well, actually, it depends on what day you get me on. Some days I'm just like, oh, I'm sick of being connected to everybody. Other times I'm like, oh man, I can't. Oh, yay, internet. Um, I could, but it would be kind of like going back in time. You know, I'd probably have to start wearing like a frock coat and a top hat or something because I've, I've gotten too used to it. Yeah. Sweet. Um, yeah. Because uh, I just know I can. <laughs> a 
simple $30 mobile phone in the 21st century can store contacts, call and receive texts, have games, the time and date, a calculator and much more. It's gone a long way since the first telephone, with no signs of holding back.